Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are out here at the Ruby Snapper Hotspot that I found in the last episode. And we are going to try to see if we can't get us a unique one. I'm not sure when the best time to go for them are, but we're going to try on the peaks. We'll try the. There's one peak on this particular day, we're still within it. And then we'll try the one that happens at night, which is pretty big. So if we don't get anything here, I'm sure we might get something at the nighttime one. I'm not sure when's the best time to catch these guys. I didn't really say, but we'll find out. We'll see if we can have any luck. I'm going to go ahead and move to the middle because it's a little bit easier to see the lines that way. Honestly, that real rod holder on the side makes it hangs it down in the water and I can't see both the poles as easily but anyway let's go ahead and get our rods out let's see here we've got this one here I'm just gonna throw it right out there where we had it before now remember the trick to this is to let it go all the way down to the bottom until it disappears that little sinker thing you see over on the right side and then just lift it off the bottom but it's got to be as close to the bottom as possible apparently these particular fish they must eat off the bottom or pick things up off the bottom but they like it deep 300 feet or more where you're gonna find them but it's gonna take me a minute to get them down there so I'm not gonna bore you to tears here but hopefully, we'll get it down there quickly enough that we can catch something. Alright guys, I've almost got the other one down and I'm getting a bite. Yep, just lift it off the bottom like I said. And as soon as it's upright like that, put it in the holder. Let me take a look at our sonar here, see if we see anything. Yep, they're down there. So nothing has changed with regards to that. I think it's just a matter of waiting. Seriously? Pain in the butt. <laughs> Sometimes that means they got your bait, too. Well, it looks like we're getting a bite finally. It took a little while. And it... I don't know, guys. This looks a little big. I hope it's what we're after, but it could be something completely different, too. So many species out here, and there's a lot of deep water species, too. Tuna can go down pretty darn deep. But yeah, I'm using the medium fish strips. The six odd hook. This is a regular hook, not a sea hook. With my trophy snapper sinker. This is one I won... We're doing the maintenance missions. Let's see what we got here, guys. It's a ruby snapper. 28 pounder. Not bad. Not what we're after, exactly. We want one that's a lot bigger. We want the unique. I have a feeling they're going to make me work for it. Let's try throwing this over here this time. 
We'll mix it up a little bit. Now, the other rod's in the water, but it's not down deep enough, so I'm going to have to finagle with it. Get it down where it needs to be, otherwise we're going to catch something else. Alright guys, I am back. Yeah, we're coming out of this peak pretty quick. I'm thinking we might need to move to the night peak just to improve our success rate. But I don't know if we can fast... Yes, we can. We can fast forward time. I thought we had... that must have been something they changed recently because they used to have to take the rods out of the water to do that. Well, let's forward time to the night peak. Let's see if that doesn't improve our odds any. I'm hoping it does. Honesty. Honestly, it may not. Yeah, wait a minute. Come on. Please don't say timed out. <laughs> hmm. Well, they're still there. Yeah, I used to catch these guys more at night, if I remember correctly. I'll be darned. Why does it keep saying it? So it's the fourth one. So it's striked out on this one. Alright, we're finally getting a bite off this first one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a ruby snapper. Yeah, the trophy snapper sinker seems to improve my odds considerably. I might have to look in there and see if I have anything else that I could use it as a trophy category. Or maybe a club category. That other one timed out again. What is up with that? There we go. And it is another ruby snapper. Not a very big one, but still a ruby snapper. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to try a different sinker on this one. And I might up it to large fish strips. Just to see, because I know they bite on both. Let me see here. We do have, yeah, large fish strips. I'm using a cannonball sinker. Now, I have been catching them more often with the... It's like on this one, it's got the trophies. What do they call it? A trophy snapper sinker? Yeah, the cannonball might not be doing as well. I don't know. It's not heavier. I don't know if a pyramid sinker is going to be too big. We have a trophy pyramid sinker. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's try it. I know it weighs a pound, but it might help with the sink faster. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work. I mean, it's worth a shot, though. The other one definitely seems to be helping get their attention. That one's a 9 ounce. I believe. Let's see, we're already getting another bite on it. Bending over pretty good. Let's cross our fingers. Maybe. 
Yeah, see, that's a 9-ounce sinker. So it's only 7 ounces less. I'm hoping. I don't know. It just seems to be coming up a little too easy. It's definitely a snapper. Yep. No, he's only 18 pounds. Well, shoot. <laughs> we gotta do better than that. Gotta do better than that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one here and start lowering this one. So I've already started lowering it. Then we'll come back and put that one in where it needs to be. But again, it does take a while, like I said. Getting us all set up is not a quick process. These guys. I'll tell you what, guys. I don't know. I have... I got couple of guides but they quit just like in real fishing sometimes fish just don't seem to be cooperating and they're doing it again <laughs> this is a good spot but let me take a look here at the map what's the next day look like same uh, same thing see when I caught them really well last time I caught them on a day like this it was a partly cloudy day with the two peaks, and I caught them at the end of the day, right during the peak. So, I mean, it may just be that it, the timing's off, you know? I mean, that can happen. But I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to go ahead and pull these up. I think I might go after some yellowfin in a good spot for the yellowfin. Not Tuna Alley either. I'm going to go down to the southwest. I did go down there in another episode. The big thing I remember about this place is that I caught a lot of yellowfin. I'm kind of hoping they might be able to get a little bit lucky and get what I'm after there. But I still have to get a unique job fish. I still need to get a unique one of these. Actually, I gotta get a unique... Five uniques, actually, I think. Let me make sure here. At least I got it marked, so... Yeah, we... No, actually, six uniques. Oh, boy. So, I gotta get a unique big fin reef squid. I know we're there to be caught. Gotta get a unique green jolt fish, like I said. A unique mahi-mahi. That might not be a bad thing to go after. Actually, and I know the technique for going after him. Narrow barred, let's see, not narrow barred mackerel. Ruby snapper, skipjack tuna, which really surprises me because I would have thought I, I'd catch one. And of course, the yellowfin tuna. Kind of curious just how big the unique yellowfins get. But yeah, we're going to need to go. Try something else for a little while, because I've been doing this for quite a bit of time. Now, what we need to do... Is come down here. This is where I've caught them. There's like a little... Island right here. And as you can see, Trophy Yellowfin two of them so they're there without a doubt so let's go ahead and jump down there I don't think the timing is all that 
important either. Let's go ahead and take a look at our sonar. We just need to head towards the island. It's obvious that you cannot miss it. I'm facing the island, I believe. Well, let's go ahead and pull anchor. Another buoy there. Yeah, that black thing down there, that's the island. It's just pretty much a rock. There's not much there. I'm just kind of taking a look to see if I see any birds. I'm not seeing anything. We are picking up fish now, so let's slow her down a little bit. Yep, we're getting fish now. Alright, let's go ahead and get our rod set up. been told that the yellowfin really go for the trolling octopus with the squid chains. So we're going to try, I'm going to try this rainbow one here. Ooh, I got the trophy squid chain. That could increase my odds a bit. I've already got this one set up, but I think I'm going to make it red instead. Red instead. I'm a poet and didn't know it. Alright, there we go. Let's throw this out and see what it does. Yeah, I do not want to bore you guys, and the ruby snappers just were not cooperating for some reason. Doesn't mean we can't come back. Try them again. But trolling's always more fun. Not more fun. <laughs> trolling's more interesting, I should say. It's not when you turn the engine off. I hate when I do that. It drives me nuts. Alright. Okay, I do not see any birds. But we are taking this right into the fields of fish, so to speak. It looks like there's fish at every level here. Really have no idea what we got going on down there. Ah, there we go. And we need to slow this thing down. Yeah, we didn't get it off that squid chain, but... So, it's not a unique, that's for sure. nice if it was a unique skipjack. <laughs> Trophy skipjack. Nice. Well, we could get our skipjack if we keep at this. I would be happy with that.
Wow, we weren't even moving. Something bit on that. That that rarely happens. That was cool. Okay, he's giving me a bit of a fight. I think this is a skipjack, that's for sure. This is something a bit bigger. <laughs> He's taken off with it. A lot. It's almost Mmm, that's kind of Marlin behavior. Yep, look at him taking that off with it. I haven't caught any Marlin out here, but that doesn't mean they're not out here. Wow. I had him considerably further in, and now he's just taken off with it. Man! I guess we're in for the long fight here, guys. Several moments later. guys, we're getting a little bit closer now. He could make another bolt for it. We're gonna see. He's gonna make me work for it. Look at this. There, we got him. We got him. Trophy Elephant Tuna. New personal record, though. 195 pounds. It's not bad. I think this is where we're going to find the unique ones, guys. As much as he fought us, the unique's going to be amazing to fight, I'm sure. But look at 12,918 XP. Definitely worth the XP. 29,949 cash. We are going to keep him... Yeah, he was kind of a surprise. The fact that I had already thrown the line out. You know, just threw the line out. I hadn't... It wasn't trolling at all. <laughs> and he had a chance to start. Alright, let's go ahead back to trolling. Alright, full speed. Full speed ahead. Let's get this in a little bit closer so we can see what we're doing. Okay, there that's where I caught the others. Alright, I think we got one on them. Yep, we got one. This could be a skipjack too, judging from the size. Let's see here. Yep, another skipjack. Yep, thought I might... What is going on? Oh, we did get one. <laughs> did it again. 
think this might be another skipjack, guys. Maybe this one would be bigger than the last one. No. Not quite big enough. That's good. I'm... If I can get a unique skipjack, that would be awesome. Wow, I don't even have to do any trolling. <laughs> it's crazy. They're just biting them. It's the skipjack that are doing it. Well, that one yellowfin did it too, but... That is cool as all get out. Let's see here. Alright. Well, we might not have to do anything. <laughs> oh no. Let's see here. Let's get this going again. Let's head this direction a little bit. It looks like we're running into a school. There we go. Look at them all. And we got one on the line here. Hold on. Ah, he got off. Back on it. Yeah, he got off. Nope, oh, he's back on. <laughs> Unless that's a new one. It could be a new one. I hope it's another skipjack. It seems like he's fairly easy to get in. He's not pulling as hard as that yellow fin did. He's pulling a little bit. He might be bigger. Let's see here. Ah! New personal record skipjack tuna, guys. I think if we're going to get him, we're going to get him here. That's for darn sure. 48 pounds. Let's take a look at this fellow. Yep, he's actually big enough that I can hold him in my palms. There's a personal record so far. Hopefully... We'll be able to locate his big brother. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, we will keep him. Let's see. Let me take a look here. What's the peak look like? We're coming out of the peak. Skipjack bite just about any time, so we can probably fast forward to morning Let's see what things look like then now can I fast forward time with these out I don't know if I can sometimes it seems like you can sometimes you can't I think you can yeah I want to go ahead and fast forward it to the next peak on the next day I'm hearing some jumping going on. Let's see what we got going on over here. Alright, let's crank her up. Yeah, look at all the fish down there. We're going to have to turn a little bit, otherwise we're going to crash into the daggum thing. But... Yeah, there's a lot of fish around here. Oop, I can see birds now. About time. Birds usually mean good things. I 
think what I'll do... Is that boat following me? Because it's starting to seem that way. Okay, I think we... Yep, we got two of them, I believe, biting on that. Eh. I don't know. They might have quit. Oh, we definitely got one now. Okay, let's slow her down. Okay, we got a big one. I think we got us a big one. And we got one on the other one, too. Jeez. Okay, let's see what this one is. Not a little fish. But he is coming in. That might be a good sign. Really would like to get that unique skipjack. I'm not quite convinced that that's what this is yet. I think it's too big. Yeah, I think it might be too big, whatever it is. We'll see here. Well, we may have, maybe we won't. Got him. See what he is, and it is a dog tooth tuna. That got it. Yeah, we do get dog tooth around here. There's our birds. Yeah, let's try to... There's a bunch of birds over there, too. Let's head that way and see what happens. I don't think I've ever gotten that close to the cruise ships. They're usually just way out of reach. Yeah, there's a lot of good spots around here to just plow through. Usually they're birds to give you indication where they are. Fighting. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything jumping either. There we go. Ah, he quit. I hate when that happens. Ah, there we go. We got jumpers. Those look like they might be skipjacks, too. Ah, now nah, we're getting a bite. Oh boy, he's a big one. Yeah, we may have to stop it. Come jump, boy. I tell you, I love watching that. That is so cool. Can't 
tell what kind they are. Got one on the other one too now. I ain't got it. Well, this is not a skipjack. It's too big. Dog tooth, it's hard to say. By the way, dog tooth scent, dog tooth tuna are actually not tuna. I may have mentioned that before, but they're actually closer in the striped bonito family. Trophy Abacore. Not bad. That's probably what they are. Now I've gotten a unique of one of those. But yeah, that's what they are, I'm sure of it. Well, that was a terrible cast. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to do one more pass, but this... This is a great spot for a lot of different things. do is we're going to do one more pass, but we're going to go back where we came from. I need to pick up a little speed to do that. Yeah, you can't go more than 25% if you got your lines out. I don't think you can catch anything at that speed, but... Yeah, they stopped jumping. Hearing something is because I have something. Oh. Grab the wrong one. Alright, let's see what we got here. Well, it's not little. You can be misled. Sometimes it can seem a lot bigger or a lot smaller. And if I can get this in soon enough, I might be able to get another one. Another albacore. Alright, let's grab this one. are never all that easy. You gotta plow through a whole bunch of other sizes and species first where you finally arrive at the one you're after. But yeah, there's definitely birds over on that side of the island. And we're seeing more stuff coming up on sonar. And we got a bite. It's not always easy to get a get one in when the boat's moving. It's like it kind of makes it gives the fish an advantage. You have to kind of slow it down, but you also don't want to stop it either. It's just cold. All right. Yeah, cuz they will it'll drop the tension, they can get off the line. That's what I've been told, anyway. 
God bless it, every time I end up getting a bite on both of them. <laughs> Let's see how much easier it is to get in now. It's probably another albacore. Yeah, I saw that unique albacore. There you go. Well, I did get a unique, not the one I needed, but I did get one a unique albacore. Let me see here. Get a picture of him here. Not bad. So it wasn't a total loss there. We did get our, ourselves another unique albacore. Nice 98-pound one. Yeah, they had those great big pectoral fins. Look how long they are. It's almost like wings or something. Alright. We got him. Yeah, I think we may be hanging out here for a little while, guys. Keep at it until we can I still think I should do one more pass. Just one more pass. I know. I know I say that all the time. Got another bite. Definitely big. I'm gonna have to slow this thing down. Yeah, he's a big one. This could be a yellow a yellow fin tuna. Not a skipjack, that's for darn sure. Just not big. Just a little bit too big. A little bit too big. If some of the smaller tuna, like the skipjack, you could sometimes keep the boat moving and still be able to pull them in. That's not what we got here, I'm afraid. Something just keeps going for that other one, too. Whatever this one is, it keeps... back out. Oh, come on. Now he's going to take it out to 100 feet again. Yeah, I'm afraid this is going to have to call it an episode. Didn't really get anything that we needed to get, but we had a lot of fun. And this was definitely exciting. Got lots of XP, lots of cash. This one is just really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> He's doing it again. keeps taking it back out to 100 feet and then I get him in he goes out 100 feet add him into the 50s
Really? You're gonna do that to me? Yes, he is. He's gonna take the damn thing back out again. To a hundred feet! <laughs> What the heck is this guy? I had it in the twenties and he took it all the way back out again. Turns out to be a dog too tune, I'm a little bit aggravated. There we go, we got him, finally. Trophy Greater Amberjack. That was unexpected. I don't think I've ever caught one out here. I'll be darned. Hell of a fighter. I'll give him that. One hell of a fighter. They are, too. Yeah, we'll keep him, then. Now, we're not doing too bad here, guys. We have not gotten any of the uniques we do need, but we did get a unique. We got a unique albacore. And we got a nice trophy yellowfin tuna. So let's take a look at what we did get. Just this morning so far. Can't count the ones we got last night because that was already pushed through. But yeah, we got an albacore, trophy albacore, unique albacore. Trophy Greater Amberjack and Dog Tooth Tuna. That's 63,000 already, and we only got five. That's why you gotta play this. You get tons of XP, tons of cash. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Hopefully, we will start catching some of the things we need to catch. <laughs> Anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.